Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do number 15 on the 53 Math MTEL. Now in this problem, we're going to use a, an alternative strategy to solve this. And I want you to apply it when you have problems like this. So let's take a closer look. Number 15, the first thing I want to do is I want to read over the problem, get an idea of what are the major concepts inside uh, this question. So number 15 goes, use the expression below to answer the question that follows. Two and a half times one fourth. Which of the following problems can be solved using the operation above? Now we have our possibilities. A person has two gallons of paint and uses one fourth of it to paint a wall. How much paint was used? A bicyclist travels two and a half miles in one fourth of an hour. How many miles per hour is a bicyclist traveling? A rectangle has a length of two and a half inches. If the width of the rectangle is one fourth the length of length, what is the area of the rectangle? And D. We'll, we'll get to D in a, in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to try and go through each one of these, but I want to focus in uh, on the, the main strategy that we'll apply to get to our answer. What we're going to do, rather than multiply these out, what we're going to look here is to find an alternative way to solve these type of problems. And what I'm going to do today is something called model drawing and try and represent what two and a half times one fourth is and do it for all these because you may not be crazy about fractions so this is a visual approach for teachers that uh, want another way of thinking about how to solve a problem like this now two and a half times one fourth another way of saying that is it's one fourth of two and a half or we could say since of is means multiply or we could say, what is 25%, um, remember, core fraction, 25% of 2.5. Now let's do the strategy. The strategy requires you to think about partial relationships. In this example right here, my whole is going to be represented by the 2.5. So we have 2.5 of something. 2.5 equals my whole we'll say 100%. And we're trying to find uh, what's a quarter of it. Or we could think of that quarter as 25%. So really, if we're trying to find a quarter of a half, this model drawing sort of represents how you could think about the problem. What's one-fourth of two and, a, two and a half? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to examine A, B, C, and D in terms of uh, what the partial relationship is and use a model drawing and see which one of these match up to this diagram here. So let's start with A. A person has two and a half gallons of paint and uses one fourth of paint, uh, uses one fourth of it to paint a wall. How much paint was used? Okay. Well, my whole is the amount of paint they have. Would you agree? This is two and a half. That represents your whole or 100%. And they're only using a fourth of that all of that whole, a fourth of the paint, the paint. So we could think of it like that. We're only concerned about a fourth of it. And in this problem, you're going to have to find out what that fourth is. And guess what? That's the answer. Isn't that the answer? Isn't that the same model drawing we're trying to find out a fourth? What's a fourth here? So this would actually be the right one that would line up with this one. We're trying to find out a fourth of your whole, or a fourth of two and a half percent, or two and a half gallons. But let's continue. A bicyclist travels two and a half miles in one fourth an hour. How many miles per hour is my bicyclist traveling? Well, this is a little trickier. So visualize. They're only going, this is a one fourth of an hour, that's like 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, they're going two and a half miles. So I don't know what the whole is. All I know is, if we look at it, um, one of our parts is equal to two and a half. And we're, and we're trying to find out what the whole would be. So I guess we're trying to find what is the whole if a quarter of it is two and a half. And I, I think you see where I'm going with this. Now we could add up all our parts. When you add up all your parts, you get to your whole. You get to what 100% is. In this case, 100% of all the distance that you travel in that hour is 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5, or 10 miles in an, in an hour. Well, guess what? 
That's not the dynamic here. It doesn't match up with this model drawing. So we're going to cross it out, but we're going to learn that that's how you would solve a question like B. Let's continue. A rectangle has a length of two and a half inches. If the width of the rectangle is one fourth the length, what is the area of the rectangle? Okay, first, visual. There's my rectangle. My length, remember we think of this as uh, length times width. My length is equal to two and a half inches. My width, I don't know what the width is. I know it's a fourth of the length. So I could be like, what's a fourth of the, uh, of the length, two and a half? Well, guess what? This is going to involve length times width, and the measurement here is going to involve, uh, part of that problem is going to involve taking this amount and, and multiplying by this. And that's true. We are going to do this calculation in this to find the width. But then we've got to multiply the two to get the area. And this question is asking, what is the area? So no, this isn't a direct lineup. This is a portion, this is a, this operation here is a step that could help you, would help you get to the correct answer, but it's not a direct uh, lineup. So we're going to cross C out. And lastly, we're going to do this one super fast. Why am I have to do it fast? Because if these videos are over 10 minutes, you know, it's harder to load on YouTube. So I'm picking up the pace and trying to do it a little quicker. A bag contains two and a half cups of chocolate chips. If one batch of a recipe calls for one fourth cups of ch chocolate chips, how many batches can you make? Well, the whole here is the is a, a cup. Every cup you can create four different batches. Each of them are a quarter of the cup, and you have two and a half cups. So that means all these are different. You can make four batches here and four more here and two in the half. So in total, this model drawing could help me deduce that you could make 10 batches. Now the, all these model drawings help me get to the correct answer, but the only one that matches up directly um, with the operation above um, is A, a direct lineup. So team, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, again, the answer here for everyone is A. And I want you to think about how we use model drawing to solve all of them because that's the, that's the strategy in which I'd like you to use and I think will really help with these problems. Okay, team, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I wanted to uh, encourage everyone, if you have time, to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.